found out a way for first gear not to grind. If you didn't see before, first gear is grinding when I'm in neutral and then going into first. The way I'm driving now is pop it in second and then first. It goes in way smoother. It works. Headlights, that's probably why you guys clicked on this video. And I'm guessing you guys have a 240 if you clicked on this. All right, today I got new headlights to put on the 240 S13. These are the headlights I got. They convert my 240 headlights to an H4 bulb so you could run like LEDs or something like that. Here's a 6K H4 LED. Comes with a little fan on it. I'm assuming it'll do well. I'll let you guys know after the fact. Right now, if you guys didn't know, I bought the car. Only one headlight works. It might be because I'm rubbing on the wiring harness and I really need to tuck it up again. I didn't do it the first time. The previous owner did it. I come from having an Infiniti G35. This is something totally new to me. I really like how these are glass headlights instead of plastic. Pretty sure I don't even have to restore it. Very simple design, I like it from Nissan. The bulb is out, really easy. Let's put the LED in. Okay. <gasps> Wait. Oh crap. Oh, my fingers hurt so bad. It is in, ready to be plugged in. I don't know if I mentioned this already. By the way, the headlight brand is named Hella. If you're from the Bay Area, that's a common saying. It's pretty funny. That's literally the only reason why I got this. Ow! I just poked myself. The pins will eventually go in like this. It may take a little bit of like tiny finicking. Really not hard at all, especially because the headlight's completely out of the car. I think it's time to go install these. Another thing to keep in mind, keep your stock headlight bulbs. Because if your new bulb goes out, you have another one. Easy. Take a look at the light. Here you go. This light's working. Not working. Oh, that looks so ugly. My dad actually found out that the fuse is blown for the headlight, which means I didn't even need to buy new headlights. Let's put these bad boys on. Looks like an ice cube. Replacing headlights on this car is the easiest thing ever. All you need is a Phillips and you're done. Also make sure the fuse isn't blown before you buy headlights. This bezel might be a little bit difficult. Just give it some wiggles and pull kind of diagonally downward and you'll be screwed. There'll be another four screws here. Uh, didn't want sleepy eye, but I got it. It is freaking out. I think it's the wires in the back. Ah, oh, I'm not sure how to get to them though. Headlight motor is still freaking out. Let's see if I unplug it. Let's put it back up. Don't know. 
if anything is hitting it though. I got it all the way up. What happens when I push this? Does it go down? Yes, it goes down. I'm pretty sure the fuse blew again from me either rubbing. I, I have no clue. <sighs> the next thing I have to adjust is the wiring harness. I'm pretty sure the wires are shorting right about here. This definitely sucks and defeats the whole purpose of the video. At least one looks good though. Okay, it's a complete another day. Time to actually get these things to work. The headlights didn't end up working because of a fuse. It keeps on blowing. Here is why it is happening though. If you guys can tell, the harness is being chewed up because of how low this 240 is. I'm pretty sure the top is where all the damage or shortage is going out because there's only a little bit of wire showing here. I'm not sure if we're going to have to like repair that by soldering or something. It would be nice if I didn't have to do that and could just wrap it with electrical tape. We'll see though. I'm gonna take off the front bumper to take off this fender because that side is completely fine. Usually I feel like with 240s, that side, mm, you never really have any problems. Let's get to it and take this bumper off. This is pretty funny. There's only two bolts right here and none right here, so. Taking off the bumper is a lot more work than my G. We had a slight casualty. That is a deep ass scratch right there. And another thing I found out is there's condensation in my headlights because it isn't sealed in the back. I think it's because of the type of bulb it is. I think I might change to the stock bulb. We'll see though. Man, look at that scratch though. Eventually I'll get the car painted. Not anytime soon though. We got two right here, although the pinch weld is bended all the way up. I'm gonna have to get it out somehow. Back. And that is pretty tough actually. Another clip, don't let that screw you up. Now that we are at the fender, we can see what we're dealing with now. This is the chewed up harness. I think there's like one or two wires that we might have to solder up and heat shrink, all that stuff. This one, I think I'm gonna just electrical tape it and I got this harness shoot from Auto Collect Storm. This is gonna come in handy. I've heard really good things about this and it will solve most of my issues with my 240. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay, I have to admit the last two attempts of doing this kind of video was iffy on my part. Like, nothing was going right at all. So I'm just gonna end it off here. I thought it was so funny how the headlights worked. And right when I got out of my driveway, they stopped working because of the fuse. It blew again. Also, when I was working on the car today, I saw that the headlights had some condensation. I think that's due to the bulb not being able to have a seal on top of it. Because the bulbs that came with the headlights that I got, you were able to plug it in right from the headlight. And you didn't need like a, a ballast or... I'm not really too sure, just some extra wiring and it had a fan so you couldn't really put that rubber 
piece on. <laughs> the whole point of the headlights was to get it to like ice cube or something. That didn't work and when taking off the bumper, I hit the fender, sadly. It's my daily, so I'm not gonna worry too much. And with repairing the harness, I'm really not familiar with that area of repair. <laughs> I thought there was either two ways of going about it. You either cut and solder back the wire properly and heat shrink it, or you heat shrink or electrical tape it back together how it is. There are some wires disconnected, so I'm not too sure on that part. What would you recommend when the harness is slightly chewed up? I know it's a common thing, so so there will definitely be some answers for me. Other than that, I'll see you guys Thursday. I'm gonna be working on my G. I'm gonna put the 240 on hold just for a slight bit. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next video.